Hi and welcome to another Honest Review and today I'm talking about a product from a range that was recommended to me by a good friend. Um, it is Lumiere from Neo Coutis, and I splashed out um, on this illuminating eye cream. Now I've got to start by saying that this friend um, is in her later 30s and she's 10 years younger than me so she's not quite dealing with the same level of aging challenge that I am. Um, however, she swears by this stuff. Um, now at 78 pounds from the skin store online, this is not cheap. Um, it is a, only a 15 milliliter bottle. So it's hard to tell, you know, on the camera when I'm holding this close in. But if I show you this 30 milliliter bottle from The Ordinary, one of my favorite skincare ranges, um, you can see that this is supposed to have double the amount of this. So um, there's not going to be that much in here. Uh, so that's a lot of money to spend on 15 milliliters. On using the actual product itself, um, let's see, I just use a tiny amount. Um, you know, for that price, you don't want to be using too much. It's fragrance free. No fragrance there at all. Um, and when I apply it, um, I have sensitive skin and um, I've had no problems with this whatsoever. So uh, it gets the thumbs up for sensitive skin. Sometimes you can feel it tingling a little and that's just the caffeine in it. So, um, you know, when I use a product with a higher amount of caffeine in it, I get even more tingling, but it doesn't really irritate the skin. That's just a sign that the uh, caffeine is is getting to work. Um, so yeah, nice product to use, sinks into the skin pretty quickly. So the marketing around this product, and I have to say that I did do a little bit of um, digging around and I looked at a lot of the beauty editors, um, eye cream picks, and this regularly features uh, both in the US and the UK. So um, this comes as a highly rated product and I was expecting a lot from it. The marketing for it uh, describes it as a restorative line smoothing eye cream that uses growth factors to target the, I've no idea what the growth factors are by the way, but to target the delicate eye area and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, crow's feet, puffiness and under eye darkness. I have all that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm signed up for all that. Um, it refreshes the delicate eye area to help alleviate the signs of fatigue <laughs> every day um, with bisabolol, which is a skin conditioning agent found in chamomile extract. So, you know, a lot of good stuff. Um, everything on that list is something that I deal with as somebody who experiences puffy eyes uh, regularly. Um, so, I mean, let's start with that, okay? the puffy eyes, it has, it contains caffeine um, and that's supposed to help with the puffiness. Now, I just showed you that bottle from The Ordinary. This is um, a 5% caffeine solution. When I compare the two on what they can do for puffiness, there's no contest. The Ordinary, which is substantially cheaper, uh, wins every time. So this morning I woke up with really puffy eyes. The first thing I did, was reapplied this uh, to see if it could sort of tackle it and left at half an hour, came back, there was no change. Um, so what I did was I piled on the ordinary caffeine solution, went away and did a workout for sort of 15 minutes, came back upstairs and I could see that the um, puffiness was easing up. The big thing behind puffy eyelids is not the eye creams that you use. Um, it will usually be an underlying factor. So, um, you know, a poor night's sleep, which I had last night, that's definitely what's been behind mine. When you have a poor night's sleep, um, you, there isn't enough rapid eye movement um, to clear the fluids from your eyes, so they build up. And the other major contributor is dry eyes. So I'm gonna link to a video that I've done specifically about treating dry eyes to help you because all you need is some heat pads and it's gonna make a heck of a difference. Um, if you're suffering with regular puffiness, it's very likely, and particularly if you have dry eyes, that you might have blocked oil glands. Um, and by following this routine, 
uh, that I talk through on the video, that's going to help massively as well. I haven't been doing it as frequently recently and that's why the puffiness is back. But if I stick to that program, then I don't have too much of an issue with it. So, I mean, thumbs down on the puffiness, I have to say. Um, it contains something called glyceratinic acid, um, which they say helps lighten the appearance of under eye darkness. It's not a massive problem uh, that I have with the under eye darkness, but it's certainly there and uh, I, I don't see a difference. I've been using this now maybe for three weeks, once a day, and they recommend you use it twice a day because it's got the caffeine in it and I can't even sniff caffeine after lunchtime. I know that it's OTT, but I just daren't put it on at night just in case because um, a whiff of caffeine can can knock my sleep. So I just use it in the mornings. I've done that for three weeks. I can't say I notice a big difference under the eyes. It moisturizes with sodium hyaluronate and uh, glycerin. Well, the, the hyaluronate is um, the hyaluronic acid which many anti-aging products contain now and that does help you know draw the moisture to the skin and um, just help fill it out and give it that kind of youthful plumpness um that's where i would say this product does a reasonable job um but do i think that there are cheaper alternatives out there that do the same job yeah i think a lot of products that uh, contain a good amount of hyaluronic acid these days will help improve the um, the texture of your skin uh, by plumping it. So um, it gets a tick on that front from me. The growth factors, I've sort of had to sort of dig around to see if I could understand that. And I think these are peptides, um, which is something you'll hear a lot of. Short chain amino acids. I mean, you'd have to be a scientist to get it, but um, they are the building blocks to generating collagen and elastin and the things that the skin needs to have that youthful bounce which uh, which we're looking for <laughs> as we get on through life so it has these growth factors uh have i seen anything major as a result not really i looked at their website um i could see some before and after pictures i have to say that one of the before and afters the lady before was kind of doing that and then after her eyes had relaxed a bit. So it was really hard to tell the kind of result. But there are people out there, and I don't want to knock products too much. For me, it is just about, does it represent value? Is it something that I would buy again, is the bottom line. And I don't think I would buy this one again. Particularly, you know, if I'm paying nearly £80 for 15 millilitres, to me, it's got to be a game changer. And this one sits there, uh, with with the kind of line of expensive product that does a job, but does a similar job to less expensive products. Therefore, I'm not going to pay out for this one again. So um, if you're looking at buying this ice eye cream, <laughs> I nearly said ice cream. Um, ice cream might be more satisfactory, actually. Uh, if you're looking at buying this eye cream, um, I hope that you found this video useful. If you've tried it and you've got a great result from it, I'd, I'd also be interested in, in hearing your story about that too. I think that people have different skin types and different things work for different people. So this is something that you may find you get a brilliant result with and I got a less brilliant result. This has been another honest review. Uh, there are loads more like it on the channel covering everything from uh, cleaning products to skincare, beauty treatments, anti-aging treatments and more. Do check it out and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.